جورج أورولز أنيمال فورم كويز نمبر وان واتس مستر جونز مين فايس فايس مينز إيفل or something bad he used to do number a lost or um, making illegal ships uh, with women number b alcohol number c gambling number d cigar question two Who gives a speech to the animals at the beginning of the book? Number A, Snowball. Number B, Moses. Number C, Old Major. Number four, uh, number D, Mr. Jones. Question three. What's Old Major's message to the animals? Number one. The animals are enslaved and should rebel or life will be the same no matter who is in charge or the, uh, their future depends on the construction of a windmill or paradise is a place called Sugar Candy Mountain. Question 4. What is a dream of all the, uh, that all the major shares with the other animals? A plague wiping out mankind or all the animals on earth giving in a joyous song or a time when animals will be free or a traitor in their midst? Question 5. Who is good and who is bad according to all the major? Four legs are good, two legs are, bad, are better. Or four legged animals are good, winged animals and men are bad. Or all animals and men are good, no one is bad at heart. Or Creatures on two legs are bad. Creatures on four legs or winged are good. Question 6. What's the name of the song about an animal utopia that all the major teaches the animals? Beasts of England. Animal form. Old manor anthem. We are animals. Question 7. Who are the smartest animals? All the animals except the horses who are illiterate or the pigs, especially squealer and minimus or the rats or the pigs, especially snowball and Napoleon. Question 8. What do the pigs paint on the side of the barn? The seven principles of animalism, the words animal form, a portrait of all the major, the alphabet. Question 9. What does Molly want to do? Wear pretty ribbons and look at herself in the mirror. Work as hard as she can. Help raise the puppies. Lead the marches and raise the flag. Question 10. What do the animals do every Sunday morning? Clean the barn. Gather in prayer and songs led by Moses. Raise a flag and hold a meeting to vote on resolutions. Walk proudly through town taunting the humans. Question 11. What does a snowball make the central tent of animalism? 
all animals are created equal but some animals are more equal than others animals of the world unite napoleon is always right four legs good two legs bad question 12 which of the pigs proves the best writer napoleon squealer snowball curly 13 what reason does a squealer give for the pigs taking all the apples and the milk that food would make the other animals sick the animals need to learn a lesson in sacrifice they need it for their brain work the pigs will die without it 14. What do Mr. Pickleton and Mr. Frederick do to try to prevent animal rebellion on their own farms? Cut the rations, kill the most rebellious ones, spread rumors about animal farm, stop letting them out to graze. 15. Who dies in the Battle of the Cowshed? Mr. Johns, only one sheep, Mr. Frederick and Mr. Pelkiton, uh, a farm hand and a sheep. 16. What does a snowball want the animals to build? A schoolhouse? A second barn for the pigs, a wall around the farm, a windmill for generating electricity. 17. Who chases a snowball off the farm? The other pigs, nine dogs that Napoleon has raised. All the animals chase him away because he is a traitor. No one, he runs away. 18. How does a squealer explain Snowball's absence? Napoleon is hiding him somewhere for his own protection. Mr. Johns, Mr. Pelkton and Mr. Fredrickson kidnapped him. He was a traitor and a criminal. He had to go lead the rebellions on other forms. 19. Why is it so hard for the animals to build the windmill? There is a, a saptor who keeps no, knocking it down. They can only break a stone by pulling it up a hill and dropping it back down. They don't know how to do it now that Snowball is gone. Boxer is injured and he was the strongest and the hardest working of them all. 20. How does Napoleon plan to get supplies the animals can't make? Steal from humans, he decides they can do without anything they can't make themselves, trade with humans, ask humans for help. 21. Where do the pigs move to? Into town, Mr. Wimper's place, into the farm house into the loft above the barn where the puppies were. 22. How does Napoleon explain the storm that knocks down the windmill? He says that the forces of nature will always be stronger than, me, than them. He says that the traitor snowball knocked down the windmill. He blames the animals on the farm for it and promises they will be punished. He, play, he blames Mr. Johns. 23. 
to whom does Napoleon sell the farm's pile of timber? Mr. Pilkton, Mr. Frederick, Mr. John's snowball. 24. How does Napoleon get the hands to lay eggs for him to sell? He increases their food rations substantially. He gives them no food until nine die and the others agree. He tells them they won't have to do any other work if they lay eggs. He beats them until they agree. 25. What do the animals decide to do about rebuilding the windmill? They decide not to rebuild it. They decide to hire human workers to rebuild it. They decide to work all winter and make it twice as thick. They wait for Mr. Wimper to tell them what to do. 26. What happens to the song Beasts of England? It's outlawed and replaced by an uninspiring song. The animals suddenly forget the words and can no longer sing it. Humans start singing it as well and supporting animal rights. It falls out of favor with the animals despite the pig's insistence they sing it. 27. What's the commandment no animal shall kill any other animal changed to? Bad animals deserve to die. No animal shall kill any other animal forever. Death to animals. No animal shall kill any other animal without cause. 28. Why do the pigs add to excess to the commandment no animal shall drink? In case the other animals were confused about how much they could drink. Because they tried drinking whiskey and planned to drink more. The police told them they couldn't ban it outright. Napoleon paints that on the barn when he is drunk. 29. What's the windmill used for? It isn't used, it's purely symbolic. To mill corn for profit. To generate electricity to improve the animal's living conditions. Milling rye for whiskey. 30. What's the sugar candy mountain? The name of the lullaby that Napoleon forces the pigeons to sing to his 31 piglets. The idea of animal heaven propagated by Moses the Raven. The setting for the story that Molly tells to the lambs. The mountain visible on animal farm's horizon. 31. Which pig writes the poem loading Napoleon? Squealer, Snowball, Minimus, Napoleon himself. 32. What does Napoleon rename animal form in his toast at the end of the novel? Napoleon form, pig form, Fridonia, the manor form. 33. What is the name of the quasi-Marxist socialist philosophy advocated by Napoleon and Snowball? Porcinism, Animalism, Communalism, for legism. 34. What are boxers' maxims? Snowball is always right and for the glory of animal form. I'll work harder and for the glory of animal form. 
I'll work harder and Napoleon is always right. Snowball is always right and I'll work harder. 35. Who teaches the sheep to chant four legs good, two legs better? Napoleon, Moses, Clover, Squealer. 36. Which animal voluntarily leaves the farm? Molly, Boxer, Squealer, Napoleon. 37. What's a boxer's ultimate fate? He dies of old age. The windmill falls on him. Napoleon sells him to a glue factory. Mr. Wimper shoots him. 38. What title does Napoleon eventually assume for himself? King of Animals, Lord of Manor Farm, President of the Republic, God of Beasts. 39. What's the reason for the windmill's initial collapse? Snowball, a snowball subjugates the farmers uh, blow it up with dynamite. It falls in a storm. Napoleon uh, subjugates it uh, and uh, frames a snowball. 40. Which animal discovers the truth about Boxer's destination when the pigs load him into a cart, uh, claiming that he is being taken to a doctor? Molly. Morial, Clover, Benjamin. 41. Which Russian leader does a snowball most resemble? Lenin, Trutesky, Stalin, Gorbachev. 42. Which Russian leader does Napoleon most resemble? Stalin, Trutesky, Tsar Nicholas Khorashev 43 What Russian institution does the Raven Moses evoke? The secret police, the Congress, the Russian Orthodox Church, the education system. 44 What's the revised revision of the single remaining commandment? All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. All animals are created equal. Napoleon is the supreme leader. Don't doubt the pigs. 45. What do the animals notice about the pigs and the humans? That they are fighting angrily, that the men are much taller than the pigs, that they can't tell the difference between them, that the pigs are much more beautiful. This is the end of the quiz. Good luck for all.